Well, we're back on the YouTube video, and today we're doing Mandalorian, um, chapter, uh, I believe it's like chapter 15, um, and it's going to be The Believer. Uh, so yeah, another good episode of The Mandalorian, um, really enjoyed this episode. Um, yeah, it was a pretty good episode, it was kind of like a one-off, to, to be honest with you, but I say that in a good way, even though my tone of voice is not that great, but yeah. Uh, let's just jump right into it. Um, for, first of all, we see. Sorry about that sound there. It's just my. Um, oh crap! I don't have a picture, but um, yeah, we see uh, Mayfield. Um, the uh, re recent um, villain from the uh, chapter six of last season. Um, he he uh, picked gets picked up from um, New Republic prison. And yeah, and he basically, um, they ask him, or they're like basically telling him to help him find Moff Gideon. Um, so yeah, they go, and he says they have to go to a terminal on Morag. They go there. Um, then, um, they realize that, um, there, there's no way to get in other than a Rhydonium transport. So unfortunately, um, two uh, members only allowed to go of the team. It's um, actually Mayfeld and Matt, uh, the Mandalorian, but the uh, Mandalorian can't really go with his full-on armor, so he decides to actually change his armor. He puts not change his armor, but he puts on Imperial armor instead and covers his face. Um, then that happens. Uh, we see uh, Redonium transports. As they are driving through the forest kind of area, and we see see remnants of one of them that probably exploded. Then we're hearing more explode and stuff. And then um, yeah, I then um, pirates we'll call them. Uh, that's what they call them in the show. Um, we're actually trying to bomb the transport, and they end up not. Uh, Mando was fighting them off and stuff. So yeah, that, or sorry, Din Djarin. I call him Mando my notes and stuff. But yeah, um, he basically, uh, they fight, um, sorry. They fight those guys. Very action-packed scenes. I really enjoyed those scenes. And, uh, yeah, they end up making it, um, the Imperials are there. They get in. Um, what I find, um, pretty cool of this scene, too, is actually that, uh, in order to actually get into the terminal, you have to show your face, so, and, uh, Mayfield is worried because his former commanding officer is actually, was actually there, um, and he was just there, so Mandalorian's just like, eh, it's two risks are too high, so he decides... To go to the terminal, there's one problem there. You have to take off your helmet to actually show it. Um, so yeah, he took off his helmet. Every, not everyone, but um, most of the people in the place saw him. And uh, yeah, then the officer, the commanding former commanding officer of, of course, Mayfeld, ends up um, telling them to grab a drink with him, basically, and. Uh, yeah, you could see Mandalore, the Din Djarin was pretty, I could tell he hadn't seen, people hadn't seen his face in a very long time. And he was just like, um, he was just like, struck or whatever. Like he wasn't talking properly, and then Mayfield had to uh, escape him out of there. But then yeah, the officers get a drink, then the officers just like, project, something about Project Cinder. Which, if you don't know what that is, it's basically after the second Death Star was destroyed, um, the Empire just started destroying planets and stuff. And, um, basically, they killed, like, like, even, like, sympathizers to the Empire and stuff. Um, that's also part of the reason why Aiden Versio turned to the Rebellion, if you didn't know. Um, and then, yeah, basically, he's just, like, eh. And then Mayfeld just, like, Basically, did 
even matter because his own, uh, I don't know if it was his squadron or whatever, had actually been killed because of them, killed their own men. And he actually gave the order to kill his own men. Um, so yeah, that could lead to the reason why Mayfield is kind of like a deserter to the Empire. And then, yeah, basically that happened. Uh, Mayfield was gets super mad. And then he's the officer's basically like, Oh, thank you for the Rhydonium. I plan on using it to kill more planets or whatever. And then Mayfield just has enough and he just kills him. <laughs> he kills the officer and kills the rest of them. Then they all just run out. Um, they escape in an action pack sequence. And then, yeah, they escape aboard the Slave 1. And then, actually, Mayfield is apparently set free because uh, Cara Dune and Mandalorian were just like, yeah, he's grown and he's become a better person, basically. Um, so they let him free in telling the New Republic that he's he died in the explosion. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say, uh, the explosion. Mayfield actually destroyed the entire base by sniping at a, at a Rhydonium transport. And, uh, yeah. So that happened, and um, he sniped the Randonium transport, exploded the whole base, everyone's dead there. So yeah, uh, pretty interesting. Um, some side notes and stuff. Um, I definitely liked um, Boba Fett actually got a new paint job on his arm, which looked really nice. Um, I thought there was something off from the armor, and then I realized, oh yeah, it's kind of because it's all scratched up and stuff. From being over the years. And also I believe he does have his blaster too. Which is quite interesting. And yeah that was re really nice. Um, um, what, what was also interesting. Is what they did with Mayfield's character. Because honestly before this episode. Even came. And back in episode 6. I was just like I despised Mayfield. I didn't care about him at all. To where you honestly care about him kind of. Because he shows he could be like a decent person and whatever. So yeah, I really like that. Um, and yeah, um, that's basically it honestly for this episode. Very well done episode. Um, and yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.